Now let's understand another expression which uh, represents concentration. At yeah, this time it would be uh, for a solution particularly. So it is not used for gases, not used for solids. The term is molarity. The term sounds very similar to molality, but there is a difference. Molarity represented by capital letter M is given by number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution now. It's volume, no longer weight and the volume of solution not the solvent so it's the solution comprises of both the solute and the solvent say NaOH is dissolved in water the solution is of NaOH and water the solvent was just the water and the units of volume would be in liters number of moles in moles so basically your molarity has a unit of moles per liter so pretty much simple let me give you a question and then uh, we'll discuss it further say you have 98 grams of h2so4 which you dissolve in one liter of water one liter same as one kg of water you dissolve 98 grams of H2O4 in 1 liter of water find the molarity and molality and mole fraction so find so let's do molality first you have already done it molality is how much molarity would be how much and mole fraction would be how much of H2SO4 in water let's do it quickly okay so let's look into molality what was molality number of moles divided by kg of solvent so we have 1 kg of water that's 1 kg of water and how many moles 98 grams of H2SO4 is 1 mole I hope you calculated the molar weight of H2SO4 is 98 so you get molality as one molal you have one molal molality one mole per kg molality so similarly what will be the mole fraction again no need of calculations just you can leave in uh, fractions you don't have to convert to decimal number of moles of h2so4 is one divided by total moles that is of h2so4 which is one and of water water was one kg so water was 1000 grams so you have 1000 by 18 moles of water so that was your molality now what's molarity what's molarity what's the volume of the solution because numerator we have figured out that is number of moles of the solute solute here being h2so4 so that's one mole but what's the volume of solution now h2 now h2o water is having a volume of one liter water is one liter it's it's not necessary that the solution is one liter and particularly in this case it won't be one liter h2so4 itself being a liquid will have some volume if it has a density more than one then the volume of 98 grams of h2so4 may be in anything around 70 to 80 uh, ml so the total volume of the solution might be 1000 uh, uh, 1080 1070 ml so you have you have to divide with that value 1.07 or 8 which we don't know hence the information was not enough we could not have done molarity so you see the volume of water and the volume of solution is almost same uh, then your answer of molality and molarity will be almost same like over here if the volume of uh, water was of the volume of solution was 1 0 0.0 say 7 so it's not that off from the value of 1 by 1 1 by 1.07 1, 1 by 1 is almost same but it is not not exactly same because the amount of solute was not that much 
in water so if the solute had been more and it changes the volume of the solution uh, considerably from the volume of the solvent then your molality and molarity won't be same now this molarity term is the term which we'll be using mostly in most of the questions normality and molarity normality is very closely related to molarity we'll so soon see how so uh, let's understand molarity more clearly by doing some questions so the first question uh, suppose we have three liters of two molar say H2SO4 again the solution is a two molar solution and we have three liters volume of it suppose we take out 50 ml from this solution so the thing was we had a big big container of three liters this was your three liter two molar H2SO4 from here you have taken out 50 ml of solution so this was a homogeneous solution it was evenly mixed and you have taken out 50 ml from here what will be the molarity of this 50 ml solution find the molarity of this i hope you have got it right again so basically molarity is is a term expressing the concentration so the concentration of this solution of 3 liters was 2 molar what does it mean it means that there were 2 moles of uh, the solute per liter of the solution so you had 3 liters of this so there must have been 6 moles in those 3 liters so that every liter is having 2 moles so that was your concentration now if I take a part out would the concentration of this part be more or less the concentration of the part will remain same it's same as saying that if I have a glass of water uh, and sugar mixed in it I have a glass of sweet water and I take one spoon out of it what will be the concentration of sugar in that one spoon it will be the same as the concentration or the sweetness of the the glass of water it won't the, the spoon of water will not uh, taste sweeter or less sweet because the concentration remains same the point is the number of molecules the number of molecules per unit volume is what is molarity that remains same unless until you are dissolving uh, a different uh, molarity thing into it or dissolving some extra H2SO4 if you take any part any part of the solution or the whole of it the concentration is going to remain same so the molarity answer over here was 2 molar itself because that was just a part of the 2 molar solution if you want to work out with the formula then uh, it's not required over here at all but we can do that it, as I told you it's a homogeneous solution we had uh, 3 liters that is 3000 ml having 6 moles so I hope you got that or you can say 1000 ml was having 2 moles because the molarity was given as 2. So per 1000 ml you have 2 moles of H2SO4. Now if I take 50 ml out, if I take 50 ml out then in those 50 ml how many moles of H2SO4 would be there. You can do your basic unitary method. 6 divided by 3000 into 50 or 2 divided by 1000 into 50 so 2 by 1000 into 50 so that's your 100 by 1000 which is 1 by 10 moles so this small container of 50 ml is having 1 by 10 moles of H2SO4 if you want to apply the formula to get the molarity which again I'm saying is not required in this case at all is the number of moles of H2SO4 which is 1 by 10 divided by the liters of solution the liters of solution so how many liters was it it was 50 ml that means 50 by 1000 liters so if I have left this guy in terms of 100 by 1000 100 by 1000 
So 1000 and 1000 gets cancelled. What we are left is 100 by 50 which is equal to 2. So the molarity was 2 molar or 2 moles per liter which we already knew because the concentration never changed. We just took a part of it. What is going to change the concentration is suppose we mix pure water in this. Suppose we mix a different molarity solution in this. So that those things are going to change the concentration. Otherwise it is not going to change. So here I, let's uh, make a simple formula out of it. Like if I say the molarity is 2 molar and I have got 50 ml of say H2SO4. So in those 50 ml how many molecules or how many moles of H2SO4 is there? In those 50 ml how many moles of H2SO4 is there? So we can do by unitary method which is there are 2 moles in 1 liter but 1 liter was uh, not with us so saying that uh, saying the molarity is 2 moles means it is 2 moles per liter not necessarily that we have got 1 liter of solution it is 2 moles per liter it's uh, similar to saying the density of uh, wood is 800 uh, kgs per uh, meter cube doesn't mean that you have 1 meter cube of wood if you had 1 meter cube of wood the density would be 800 kgs or it is 8 grams per centimeter cube. So if this is a wood and the density is 8 grams per centimeter, if I take a part of it, if I cut a part of it and take out, what would be the density of the remaining part? The density of the, the, the wood which is taken out will still be 8 grams per centimeter cube. So the molarity is something similar to that. So had you had 1 liter of the solution, then there would have been 2 moles of H2SO4 in it. But we have got only, so I'll write it, uh, write it another way. So had we had 1000 ml, we would have 2 moles of H2SO4 in it. But we have only 50 ml. So we have got 2 by 1000 into 50. Yeah, ml and nml gets cancelled. And what we have is, 100 by 1000 which is 1 by 10 moles so we have got 1 by 10 moles this solution of 50 ml is having 1 by 10 moles of h2so4 hence it is a hence it is a 2 molar solution so we got number of moles if molarity and volume is given so instead of doing the unitary method all the time which is quite simple by the way we can we can use a simple formula of getting the number of moles so as earlier we had number of moles equal to the total weight or mass of the substance divided by molar mass of what we were taking we have another formula of getting number of moles as molarity into volume this is molarity of the solution this is volume of the solution in liters so you'll get number of moles a unit over here will be moles if the volume is in liters molarity is always in moles per liter so uh, in a way applying the formula over here which is uh, the same as you doing the unitary method by the way the number of moles would have been the molarity which is 2 into the volume in liters which is 50 by 1000 so that's your m into v so we are doing m into v over here and we get 1 by 10 mole is the answer getting the number of moles is the key thing because We'll, giving, we'll be giving you molarity of a solution, so many, so much volume of it is reacted with this molarity, so much volume. So what will be the product? So in a way, we are telling you the number of moles of reactant 1 is so, so much, the number of moles of reactant 2 is so much. You have to figure out which is the limiting agent between the two by writing a balanced uh, chemical equation and then find out the products. So it's uh, pretty much same as what we are doing in the earlier part. We were giving you grams and you converted to number of moles. Now we have a flexibility of giving you the molarity uh, instead of grams we can give you grams we can give you molarity we can give you molality 
we can give you mole fraction but your basic aim would be to get the number of moles write the ba balanced chemical reaction and figure out uh, what is the limiting agent and uh, how many moles of the product is getting formed and later you can change the answer from moles to grams or molarity or whatever they expect the answer in now before we proceed let me just introduce another uh, unit for counting number of moles that is uh, millimoles millimoles is generally what we'll be using most of the time moles is actually a big number a uh, one mole of uh, chalk piece would be 100 grams uh, calcium carbonate will be 100 grams 100 grams will be this big of a chalk piece uh, so one mole is quite a big number and uh, uh, Avogadro number of taking 6.022 into 10 power 23 could have been taken as 10 power 22 or 21 to give you uh, one mole as a more measurable quantity but then you wouldn't have that uh, magic happening of 1.66 the weight of a mu uh, 0 0.5 into 10 power 20 minus 24 this equal to equals to exact one this was exact so that when i say that i have got uh, a certain substance whose weight is two two amus then one mole of it will be two grams exactly because one amu into a mole gives you exactly one so that wouldn't have been happening uh, had we taken some other uh, quantity but one mole is a big quantity so we can go for a smaller one which is uh, millimoles so let me let me just do the calculation in millimoles so one mole is a thousand millimoles the same thing uh, what milli means milli means a thousandth of that thing so one one mole is equal to millimoles so this would have been one by ten moles would have been one by ten into one thousand milli moles or milli is small m and mole so which is equal to 100 millimoles so the answer over here you could have given as 1 by 10 moles 0.1 moles or 100 millimoles so uh, it's nice to do when there are uh, less of fractions and decimals so doing in millimoles will be what you will be using more often I guess let me just improve on this formula a bit or give you another uh, alternate uh, units for this formula you'll get your answers in millimoles the number of moles will come in millimoles if the volume used is milliliters if you use ml milliliters the answer will come in millimoles so this answer would be in moles if you use liters answer will be in millimoles if you use milliliters molarity remains the same two molar is two molar it is uh, moles per liter or millimoles per milliliter that won't uh, change anything uh, in molarity definition you'll have moles instead of moles per liter you can say millimoles per milliliter because you'll have a factor of thousand on top you'll have a factor on thousand on bottom and the, the factor gets uh, cancelled so the, uh, so this very question where we had two moles and 50 ml so how many millimoles of h2so4 was there so we can use the formula n is equal to mv and this time we can choose to use the unit of volume as milliliters which is already there so we'll get two into molarity remains two you don't put a factor in molarity as i told you so two into 50 ml will give you 100 millimoles so you get 100 millimoles that is what you were getting earlier also 1 by 10 moles is 100 millimoles so that was your answer so it is you can multiply molarity directly with volumes in milliliter to get the number of moles in millimoles